Today we're going to talk about Bluetooth integration for X keys. Now the first thing that you're going to want to get is your X keys unit. We're using an XK24 for this demo. The next thing you're going to want is your Bluetooth adapter. Now we're using one from the company called Handheld Scientific. The other thing you're going to need is a power source for this, as well as your Bluetooth enabled device, such as an iPad, tablet, or laptop. We're using an iPad in this case. Once the program is loaded, you're going to want to change it to hardware mode so all of your macros are stored on the XKeys device. Next, select a button and go ahead and program some keystrokes. And hit save. We can also add different functions such as media functions. Um, so you go functions, show functions, and then multimedia and XKeys multimedia. Let's pick play and pause. Close out of that and save it. Let's also add in the volume up and volume down multimedia functions. So you get to that in the same path. Save. Once you have your XKeys program, you're going to want to go file and write to device. This will save the macros to the actual unit. So we'll take a second to write to memory. And then one last thing you'll want to do is go to unit data and you're going to want to change your endpoint. And you'll want to change it to keyboard, mouse, multimedia. Your XKeys is now ready to connect to your Bluetooth enabled device. One option to power the Bluetooth adapter is with a wall board. So plug that into the wall and then connect your XKeys to it. The other option is to use a power bank. Um, and that is the option we're going to use for this tutorial today. So go ahead and plug that in and you'll see the adapter to start to blink and plug in your X keys. So on your iPad, you would go settings, Bluetooth, and then it would find it and pair it. Now that we have the X keys connected to the iPad, let's test out the buttons that we programmed. If you remember, I programmed some volume up and volume down. If you see at the top of the screen, screen of the iPad, you can see as I push the buttons, the volume goes up and the volume goes down. It's controlling the main volume level. Let's go ahead and test the button that we programmed some keystrokes with. Open up a blank document and as the button is pressed, you'll see the keystrokes that we program appear. The iPad sees the X keys as an external keyboard. So in order to bring up the on-screen keyboard on where you see the down arrow, long press on it and it'll bring up your keyboard. So that way you can type more if you want to erase something. You can make changes to that. And there you have it, Bluetooth integration for X keys.